Okay, in this problem we're asked to find a continuously differentiable parameterization, x, y, z equals r of u, v, and of our surface, and we want to determine if it's a local regular parameterization. Okay, so our surface is given as y squared minus x cubed minus z squared times x squared equals zero, and we're given a hint that y equals ux. So if we let y equal to ux, we'll see, we'll just plug that in and see what we get. So we get u squared x squared minus x cubed minus z squared x squared equals zero. So let's bring this x cubed term to the other side and pull an x squared term out. And we get x squared times the quantity u squared minus z squared is equal to x cubed. So that implies that this term here in the parentheses is equal to x in order for this equation to be satisfied. So if we let x equal to u squared minus z squared and y is ux, then so far we have x in terms of u and z and y also in terms of u and z. That's um, two variables, so we'll just let z equal to v. So we have x, y, z is r of u, v, where x is u squared minus v squared, and then y is u times x, so u cubed minus uv squared, and then z is just v, so we can fill that in. So we get the following parameterization, and now we, we're not sure if it's regular or not, so we'll take the partial derivative of r with respect to u. We get 2u, 3u squared minus v squared, 0, and r with respect to v is negative 2v, negative 2uv, 1. So we get the following, and now we want to see if there's some combination of A and B such that this equation is satisfied, but, um, and if that's true, and both A and B are not zero, then we know that we um, do not have, so if A and B are both zero, we know that we have a local regular parameterization, but if we can find some A and B such that this equation is true and they're not both zero, then we don't. So. Looking at the equation, we see that the third component of the first term is zero, and the third component of the second term is b. So in order to have the third component equal zero, we need b to be equal to zero. So we know b is equal to zero, and now we have a times 2u, 
and we don't want a to be zero. So in order for that to be true, we want u to be zero. And if u is equal to zero, then we have negative a v squared is equal to zero. And since a is not equal to zero, or since we don't want a to be zero, we have that v is equal to zero. And if u and v are both equal to zero, then we have our first term is a times zero, zero, zero. And if b is equal to zero, we're adding the zero vector. So we get zero, zero, zero plus zero is equal to zero. So we found a u and v where um, a can be any value as long as b is zero, such that um, this equation is satisfied. So that means when u and v equals zero, zero, we have r of u, v is zero, zero, zero. So x, y, z is zero, zero, zero. So at this point, we do not have a local regular parameterization. So our parameterization is not zero as long as u and v are zero because we can let a be any value and b be zero.